Welcome to today's more important on Wednesday, 23rd November, with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech Markets. We've got a sort of interesting move on the markets today. We've got uh, European equities that are basically flat on the day, but the FTSE 100 is outperforming. Now, let me just show you actually um, the equity markets. Uh, FTSE 100 outperforming, uh, and that comes with the fact that. The oil price is just mildly ticked higher. You've got sterling that's underperforming. And also that comes in front of this um, autumn statement from the UK Chancellor Philip Hammond today. Uh, now the um, chances are that Philip Hammond is likely to start to announce some sort of fiscal expansion um, policies, some uh, road and infrastructure policies of uh, spending and uh, that's going to help to sort of generate a little bit more sort of growth hopefully further down the line to sort of b improve the buffer from Brexit um, but uh, it, it is interesting that this is happening today in terms of uh, how this is all planning out to, in terms of FTSE 100 out performance 0.8% uh, up whereas sort of DAX and CAC are basically flat on the day. Uh, you've got a mildly stronger dollar uh, where is the dollar? There it is. Um, which basically dollar has been consolidating in the last few days and that consolidation has come as the 10-year treasury yield has sort of started to drop away slightly but the two-year treasury yield remains on this run higher and it's actually sort of pricing in over uh, well, 100% probability of a uh, Fed rate hike apparently according to the Fed Funds Futures um, on uh, CME Fed watch, and uh, you have got this um, this sort of dollar that is had been consolidating earlier on, but it's just ticked higher mildly as uh, as the euro has dropped away, as sterling's dropped away. Interesting that the yen is still a bit of a stronger currency uh, in the last couple of days, and uh, just pulling a little bit lower again. Um, and that's uh, the other outperformer of the day is the Aussie dollar, but much beyond that, dollar is sort of basically a little bit stronger. Now, in terms of what we've got to look forward to today, well, there is actually quite a lot going on. So, that's the one. Uh, there's actually quite a lot going on. You've got the autumn statement for the uh, UK <coughs> at 12.30 this afternoon. Uh, that's followed by US durable goods orders at 1.30, which is expected to be 0.2% positive on the X transport, which is the adjusted basis, um, and then we're looking out for uh, the flash ma manufacturing PMI for the market uh, marketing. Sorry, manufacturing flash PMI 53 spot four, uh, which is mildly higher than 53 spot two last time out. And then you're looking at new home sales, which are expected to dip mildly back to 591,000. And then you've got the crude oil inventories. Had a surprise inventory uh, build last week of 5.27. Expected to be 1.2 build this time out uh, on the crude oil stocks, and then we're getting into the Fed, the FOMC meeting minutes for the November meeting. Now this is an interesting one because we've had this meeting that came. Um, I think it was this, was it the second of the month and uh, basically that was just before the election uh, where Donald Trump obviously came into power um, became the president-elect and started announcing all these fiscal expansionary policies um, that the market then took on board and as being massively inflationary massively growth driven and um, basically the Treasury yields took off now the um, the uh, the market will now be looking at this um, these FOMC minutes for sort of signs. I think now, obviously, that the markets are pricing in 100% possibility probability of a rate hike in December. So the market's going to be far more interested in in the pace or the rate of the um, interest hikes. Um, so uh, the pace of tightening is what we're looking out for. Now we may not get too much of an inkling at that today, so it might be a bit of a subdued response to the FOMC minutes tonight, but um, it'll be probably interesting nonetheless. So that takes me to my chart of the day, which is the Aussie dollar. Now the Aussie dollar has been rallying in the last couple of days. Two strong bull candles have turned it round from this basically support at 73 big figure. Now, I was talking on the, but oh, just FYI, 73 figure, basically bang on that key reaction low from June, which was Brexit day. The uh, sort of resistance you've got overhead though, between 74 figure 
this uh, candle low here and 75 figure you've got all these reaction lows through sort of late summer into the autumn and uh, it'll be very interesting to see how this little technical rally goes because you have got a cross buy signal here on the stochastics you have had the RSI turning higher but as I said the the outlook on this chart is now negative because you've broken this uptrend, you're trading below all the moving averages, effectively you're just unwinding an oversold condition in my opinion and there is big overhead supply, whoops, big overhead supply between 74 and 75 and I think that's around about where you're going to start to see the next sell signal coming back in. Now this uh, reaction load from September was 73, uh, sorry 7440 basically hitting today's high and then just mildly coming off. You see on the um, hourly chart where the RSI on the hourly just again failing to get above 70. Did a slight rolling over of the MACD lines and the stochastics but it will be interesting because 74.40 as I said was an old old uh, key reaction low. Got to go back a bit but still was. Uh, and you sort of zoom in and you can see that the uh, market between 74.40 and 75.05 again 75.05 coming in as a, as a sort of reaction high old old lows old support becomes new resistance and again with sort of old support of 74.40 becomes new resistance I think this this area between 74.40 and 75.05 is where we're going to start to see probably the next uh, lower high or next reaction high whereby this uh, this little technical rally runs out of steam because I think that the breaking of this uptrend is quite significant and trading below all the moving averages is quite significant as well so as this RSI on the daily chart unwinds towards sort of 40 to 50 area I think that could be around about where we start to see the limit of this rally but uh, it'll be interesting to see because the Aussie is outperforming today but uh, I still think this is going to be a rally that gets sold into so I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you later thank you